Hi, my name is Jenny Watt, and I'm the lead author on this paper. Dr. Donna Glass and I wrote this review article on novel therapeutic approaches to xeroderma pigmentosa because while I was reading reviews on patients with this disease, I noted that there were very detailed reviews on the mechanisms and the phenotypes associated with the disease, but in comparison, very little reserved for therapies or research into potential future therapies for xeroderma pigmentosa. I personally became interested in xeroderma pigmentosa while I was studying a family of proteins called mages because I found that one of these proteins, mage F1, prevents the protein xeroderma pigmentosa group D from acquiring a required cofactor called an iron sulfur cluster. This is how I started looking into xeroderma pigmentosa and how I eventually approached the senior author, Dr. Glass, with the proposal to write this review. And the idea was to provide a simplified overview of the underlying DNA repair deficits found in xeroderma pigmentosa for those that are less familiar with the pathway and provide an overview of a few novel approaches to therapies to stimulate more interest in those that may have not initially considered this field as we felt xeroderma pigmentosa might benefit from new perspectives. In order to find the research articles mentioned in the review, PubMed was initially queried for articles published within the past five years containing the following words or combinations of words, xeroderma pigmentosa, XP, XPA through XPG, XTV, and therapy. Additional older articles that supported the recent findings were then later included through references or additional PubMed searches. We found that there are promising new potential approaches to xeroderma pigmentosa including the finding that acetohexamide and glomerulonephrine, which are both sulfonylureas used to treat diabetes, can enhance the viability of cells with mutant XPA after ultraviolet radiation exposure, and was found to enhance the clearance of DNA damage. In addition, nicotinamide, which is a supplement that has been shown to decrease the incidence of non-melanoma skin cancer in general dermatology patients, was found to attenuate the effects of ultraviolet radiation in XPD-CS cells. And in my slacking genes involved in nucleotide excision repair, a 30% caloric restriction increased lifespan and delayed neurodegeneration, thought to be secondary to decreased accumulation of DNA damage. All of this data should be interpreted with care, as they have been found relevant in cells and mouse models, but we wanted to highlight for dermatologists and for this patient population that still has yet very limited treatment options that some promising work is being performed by many groups and will hopefully continue to inspire more approaches to this disease. We hope that our small contribution will spark more fresh perspectives between clinicians and scientists to aid in the search for novel solutions.